the cold steel tie pan, VG10 Samai dual edged dagger fixed blade. Work of art, in my opinion, for the cost. You can see the uh, laminate lines going up on both sides. Guard, craton handle with a uh, pommel crusher at the end, they call it. If you haven't seen, there's a, uh, I'll link a video in. This is a, a, the tang comes down to a point. It, you know, just gets skinnier down here. And then they weld a cap on here, a stud, and I think this gets screwed on. Or either that or, yeah, because the one I saw it had the exposed tang, because this was taken off. And then it looks like a threaded rod or threaded piece of steel gets put onto there, gets welded on, and then this gets probably screwed on. That's what it looked like in the video, at least. So there's always different prices on cold steels. It's never just map, like Spyderco and Benchmade. So uh, 239 is what most places are showing. Blade HQ, you know, the, the bigger places. Camp Saver, 165 Discount Cutlery, 166 Amazon is right now 165 you can watch it. I got it when it was 149.39, which I'll talk about that later here a little bit more. Is just an absolute steal. So um, talks about the uh, the uh, Taipan. I don't know if you know that it's there's an inland Taipan and then the coastal Taipan in Australia. That's one of the world's deadliest snakes. Uh, talks about it here. This has the best parts of you know a dagger where a lot of them have skinny blades that break. You can break the tip, I guess, if you're stabbing. 10.8 ounces, blade length 7.5 inches, overall 13, and it does show the VG10 at a core, and I'll get into this here in a minute. The more than getting into uh, the OTFs, the more I'm liking just, this is the one I EDC. You know, it's not for everyday cutting, but it, it's perfect for opening packages, boxes, um, Cutting twine, you know, rope. I, I had it with me when I was out in the desert, and uh, you know, it's just a handy knife. Just one-handed, pull it out, and the, this chisel grind on this bench made it's just really strong. I talked about this in the video, so I just love that blade shape, and I think I'm going to be getting more and more into these fixed blade daggers now. But for the cost, you just can't beat this. It's it's so nice the way it feels in your hand. Yeah, I'm not going to carry this to go, you know, for self-defense. This is just a collector thing for me, but I'll link in the video too of uh, Colt Steel just abusing this. Just a VG10 model because they make one in 3V too, I'll talk about. I don't know why you would need this knife in 3V because this thing's so strong the way it is. You know, 3V is more for a big chopper in my opinion, but I mean, no gaps. Everything is just really well done. This isn't the Japanese version, you know, this is the newer one made in Taiwan. Krayx, uh, Skirex sheath. It's got a nice snap. And it doesn't rattle, you know, it's nice and tight, but it's not hitting the edge. You can pop it just like the other sheaths. Cold Steel's been doing a good job with these. You know, it's got the uh, wrap around the craton handle. So if you look around and you've done any research on daggers, I mean, there's a ton of them out there. I'm just going to give you kind of a, just a quick overview here. I know some of these are on their upper end, like the R RMJ Tacticals and this Markworks. These are like almost custom, but look at the cost. I mean, 425, 385 for the Raider. You get in the Microtex, it gets even more sometimes, depending on how long the blade is. The Heretic ones are 490 to 550. Yeah, these are, these are really nice. For 165 bucks, if you or even 200, if you had to pay, you know what the retail is. Um, yeah, I'm comparing apples to oranges, but for the cost, I, I think it's just the best thing out there if you want to get into something like this. And you get into this K bar and the and this case knives. You know they're trying to they're trying to give you know representations of the older daggers. You know 500 bucks, and you're getting in my opinion, case quality, which is poor. 
and this this K bar, uh, you know, I was looking at the reviews of it. It's just hit and miss, you know, for 204 bucks. So I, I'm not bashing. I'm just kind of showing you the difference in all the pricing that you can do. So this is a Tops Operator Seven, very similar overall size. So the 3V version of this was, uh, if you wanted that too, is $303 at most uh, vendors, and that's pretty much uniform. I didn't see too much discounts on that because I think that's just here recently with GSM Outdoors. You know, you don't you've seen the prices go go up, and there's not much of a discount on some of the stuff now. Well, this is just a spectacular knife in my opinion, and I think that's what I'm going to title this video. Is this, is this the best dagger? you know double-edged dagger for the cost I mean question mark it, it it's just beautiful look at the look how symmetrical the actual grind is on both sides you know the line the laminate nine just like the San Mai Master Tanto and the uh, SRK they're just the Taiwanese you know, I'd rather them been made in Japan. Would I pay a little bit more money for sure? But these things look good. I, I haven't seen any issues with these Taiwanese-made cold steels. So, if you're into this kind of stuff, I, I just can't recommend this knife enough. You can see the uh, how it tapers. You know, it looks like there's a hollow grind. It's hard to tell for me. Maybe somebody could tell me in the. Uh, comments it looks like it's a shallow hollow grind on there now look at that tip just a fantastic piece so the Sanmai VG10 Taipan from Cold Steel I can't recommend this enough